Hey everybody, and welcome back to Misfit Corner Comics. This is the Arts News Andrew speaking, and here's another stack of new comics coming to the store this weekend. Let's take a look. On the top, we've got some quarter comics, or some that I'm going to put in the quarter bin, uh, simply because these are either slightly damaged or not worth enough to press them. Um, but, I mean, come on. This one actually, somebody put a price sticker on it at some point. It's still a good read. I mean, it's great condition, but who puts a price sticker on the cover itself? Whatever. All right, Avengers number 252, Conan the Barbarian number 84, gorgeous looking book, Justice League Task Force number 32 and 35, and that's it for the quarter comics, at least for this stack. There's more coming, so we've got G.I. Joe, the original from Marvel. This is issue number 34, 64, 37, 41, 55, 39. Uh, this is one I think I already showed before. Uh, I've been, I held these back to actually read these, but this is uh, Doomsday Clock number five. So now they're making it their way to the store. Uh, Incredible Hulk number 384. Black Flag number three from Image Comics and Dan Fraga. Inhumans Prime. This is a one shot from uh, Marvel. We got Batman the Joker Warzone number one. Okay. Uh, another Doomsday Clock. This is issue number four. Oops. And issue number three. I've been reading the series. I've been enjoying the heck out of it. We have the preview for Frank Miller Presents. Uh, this is a preview of Ancient Enemies, Ronin Book 2, and a couple other things in there. Kind of cool. Uh, more G.I. Joe's. Issue number 60 with art by Todd McFarlane. 62. 52. 38. We have Justice League of America number 59, 58. We have Avengers The Terminus Objective number 4, number 3, number 2, and the special number 1 cover. So, since it's a complete series, you know I'll bundle it. We have Star Wars issue number 31 with one of the alternate covers. Star Wars Bounty Hunters number 31, also with an alternate cover. Tank Girl Forever. This is from uh, Titan Comics. This is issue number, I don't actually know, issue number five. We got Star Wars Shattered Empire number four. We have the free comic book day edition, A Brief History of Tank Girl. Oh, some more of the Spider-Man 2099s. Here's issue number 23. This is issue number 31. Issue number 30. 24. Uh, we have Sabretooth Classics, number 9. we got Spider-Man 2099, the annual, number 1, from 1994. Very cool. From her limited series, it's Rogue, number 1. I believe I have all four of these, so if I do, that'll get bundled as well. We have Spider-Man 2099, number 29. 27. 26. 25. We actually have two editions. One's the special edition and one's the regular edition, so that's cool. We have Marvel Holiday Special 1994 with a George Perez cover. Uh, this is Marvel Masterpiece 2. These are the card sets that they went ahead and reprinted as comics so people could actually see the art in full size. Uh, this is issue 1, issue 2, and issue 3. I believe there were only three issues, but uh, if that's true, then of course I will bundle them. We have Fantastic Four, number 395, Wolverine vs. Guest Stars. We have Rogue, number 3 and 4, and I think number 2 is in here somewhere. Some more of the Wolverines, issue number 74, 83, 84. Uh, Hulk, number 2099, number 1. The Spectacular Spider-Man, number 225, with the hologram. Very cool. Spider-Man 2099, number 33, 32, more Wolverines, issue number 87, uh, 89, and 90, uh, this is issue 91, for those of you out there that know, issue number 88 is an important issue because it's the first um, fight between Wolverine and Deadpool. I actually do have that issue as well, but that's a valuable issue, so it's been put aside to be pressed and graded, so that's why it's not in the stack, but I do have it, so I will be bringing it soon to the store. 
We have Spider-Man 2099, number 9, number 10, number 11, number 12, number 13, 14, and I don't believe, yeah, that's definitely not Rick Leonardi on art, so he probably left the title by then. Oh, no, he's back for 15. 16, that's Ron Lim. 17, that's Rick Leonardi. 18, uh, I don't believe that's Rick Leonardi. I believe that's Ron Lim as well. Uh, 19, that's Ron, that's uh, Rick Leonardi. 20, 21, 22. And then we have Avengers Annual number two, tw from 20, it's from the year 2000. Sorry, I was getting there. Avengers issue number 41. Batman number 551 versus Ragman. Cool. 540 versus the Spectre. Uh, Batman 554. Extreme X Men. Extreme X Men number, let's see, number 5. Amazing Spider Man number 526. For anybody out there as a fan of this, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs number one from Topps Comics. It's got a nice cover by uh, Sam Keith, but I don't believe, what's his name, Mark Schultz did the interior art. Sorry. Created by him, but not art by him for this issue. Peter Parker Spider-Man, issue number, doo -doo 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 -doo, where's the issue number here? Number 21. Venom Lethal Protector, number three from that limited series. Un-American Gladiators with Lobo, number two. Ah, here's that Rogue. Here's that final issue of Rogue, issue number two. So we'll definitely be bundling this set. And this has got uh, art by the late Mike Raringo. He was fantastic, and this series is actually kind of cool if you're an X-Men or even a Rogue fan. Or a Mike Raringo fan. We have Weapon X, number four. For some reason, I have two copies of that. Weapon X, number three two and one so these will definitely be bundled together this of course is from the age of apocalypse storyline we have x-men ultra collection uh issue three of five and one of five once again these are the trading card art being made into comic book size we have x-men prime which is the wraparound chromium cover we have x-men omega also with the Chromium wraparound cover and X Men Alpha with a chromium wraparound cover. Fantastic books. We have Spider Man Unlimited number two featuring Carnage and Venom. And last but not least for this stack, Web of Spider Man number 125, also one of the ones with the hologram in it. So that's kind of cool. Alright, so needless to say, all new comics coming to the store this weekend, bagged and boarded, priced cheap. And uh, as always, come on by. We'll sell them to you cheap. And uh, I, I always forget, but if you're ever looking to get rid of your comics, you want to trade them in for credit or maybe sell them, bring them on in and we'll take a look at them and give you a decent and we'll give you a decent offer. At least I'll try my best. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for checking out the video and look forward to more before the weekend starts. Hey, everybody, and thanks a lot for checking out the video. If you like the content, click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notification. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down, either way. And we'll catch you all next time.